All right, guys, good morning on this lovely Friday, the 20th of July. How's everybody doing, everybody? Just give me a little chat back if you can hear me okay. All right, good, good, good. See you, Mark Scott. Good to see you, Donna, Charles, Amy. Look at all those great names. Everyone's here bright and early on a Friday. You didn't take off. Are you kidding me? Beautiful day here in, uh, here in New York. It's probably going to be probably the be most beautiful day ever. Mid 80s, zero, um, zero humidity, but it's going to rain all week next week. So I guess uh, there's going to be a lot of trading going on next week. <laughs> Nobody's going anywhere. Uh, beautiful since uh, 3.30. It's been beautiful out then too. All right. You know, it's pretty funny. I mean, I never, I never really did this before. I haven't done it in a while, but uh, I'm going to post up a map. And uh, just kind of like share the map with everyone. You kind of could see where everybody is logged in from. Look at that map right there. Everyone all over. Everybody see that? Show to all. Let me go to that. There you go. Everybody see show to all right there? Look at that. Oh, uh, look at Juan. Look at that. He's up there in Germany. <laughs> Ken, where am I? You're somewhere down here, buddy. Uh, can I zoom in? I, oh, I could actually. That's pretty cool. See, everyone's logged in. Everybody's in blue. There we go. Is that a little bit better? Got some Canadians. There we go. Look at that. All right. Close for all. All right. So anyway, pretty cool, right? Technology. That's what's great about this job. You know, when I first got started, um, you had to work in an office. You had to fly here. You had to hope that something, you know, it, this is one of the greatest jobs out there. Uh, personally, I think it's the best in the world, you know, because you are your own boss. You can do anywhere you want. You don't need a lot of money to do it. You don't need, you don't have to spend money on employees and, you know, space. We do it luxury at home. Um but back then when I started, you had to actually hope there was a, someone's willing to open up an office in your area. You had to go there, this and that. So it's, things just got great. So, you know, once again, uh, that's where technology is going. Anyway, let's get right into it, everyone. Uh, a lot of stuff going on regarding about what happened yesterday. We're going to talk a little bit about Skechers, taking a nice little short. Everyone uh, basically did pretty well on this short. 8.30 this morning. Everyone should have got a little piece of it since uh, since 24.40. Listen, I started around 8 o'clock. You know, I'm doing pretty decent on the short right here. It's just a clear, beautiful short. I mean, stock is getting decimated from yesterday. Um, you know, listen... Having a tough time with shoes. I mean, it's very rare that you hear a company get killed like that in this type of economy, right? But anyway, we'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, one big stock we're going to talk about uh, really quick is the MTSL trade. All right, so that one uh, was from yesterday. And uh, let me just fix the time frame here so we can see what happened yesterday. So anyway, we had that nice little run right here in the open. It went from 230 all the way to about uh, 360. So, I mean, 290 to about 360. Everybody did well. I don't even need to go through the names, but everyone made about 20, 30 cents. Uh, 40 cents, 50 cents. That was a really nice, cheap little mover, MTSL, great little pre-market. She's moving a little bit this morning. You know, she's got 200,000 shares. Look at those iceberg orders on the matrix over there. I'm going to keep an eye on it. This one's going to go back on the Fausta watch list, uh, the MTSL. You know, we're not a fan of going back uh, what happened yesterday, but sometimes things you know trickle into the next day, and we always say, listen, you, you you could always buy it back tomorrow. So that one looks pretty decent. Uh, another big one that we did pretty well was the eBay. eBay did, um, you know, got really, really hit yesterday. And uh, my chart's not looking too good. All right. So then we had a nice little bounce right there from eBay. A little bit more of a brand name. Not everyone, you know, not everyone could have traded this stock. And then, you know, boom, right down to a short. But that one did pretty well. Alcoa got um, AA got killed yesterday. That one was a great, great short also. Uh, you can see it's breaking a uh, yearly low right there. So that one, you know, I would be really careful long term. But we did really well on that short. BB was also really, really good. They're going to put that one back on my watch list. That one obviously picked up from where we left off from yesterday. 
Um, nice little push. Start gamping up a little bit. Stock took a big hit from uh, 13 all the way down to about 8. But she made a little bit of comeback right in the middle of the day. That one's going to make on the watch list. And then, obviously, the HUYA. We've been doing pretty well with this stock. Um, long, short. Very, very volatile, though. Very volatile. That and the IQ. Both uh, nice shorts yesterday. They trade side by side. A couple of people did re really well on that, but uh, I think the best one was the MTSL. Philippe, Phil, Dave, Nancy, you know, everyone did really well. That, I, that's what day trading is about. You make your days pay. You, you, you bang it out right at the open, and boom, you go to the next, you know, and you come back the next day. Now, I know a lot of you missed that opportunity yesterday. Some of you missed the opportunity this morning on the Skechers. That's okay. Listen, market opens up. We've got about 20 minutes. Uh, we still got a lot more to, to look at. Well, let's go through the watch list now. Now, remember, today is Friday, okay? What does that tell us? Beautiful day here in New York. A lot of Wall Street guys are going to want to go to the Hamptons, enjoy their weekend. A lot of them left yesterday. Sometimes a lot easier to trade on Friday because, you know, a lot of companies don't like to come out with news going into a weekend, but sometimes they have to. And uh, so we'll, we'll keep a close eye on that. So we got a couple of couple of stocks right there. We're going to keep a keep a look at it. Uh, what did I wanted to see? There was something else out here I was looking at. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Yeah. All right, she'll come to me. All right. Um, oh, yeah, this is the stock right here. Uh, the Fox trade. Well, you know, that stock, the rumor of a buyout, Comcast uh, just actually, I just heard this morning, they pulled out their offer. So uh, they're going to just let it go. They're keeping their hands clean. So it looks like, you know, uh, Comc uh, you know it's going to uh, – a buyout is obviously going to be one person, so it's not going to be a hostile takeover. So that one, we'll, we'll kind of look at it. All right, now, next couple of stocks, we're going to check it out. First of all, we got the SAEX trade I found this morning. All right, so that stock gapped up pretty nicely. You can see it's up 27%, half a million shares. That stock, some of you remember it back in July, in July the beginning we traded, it went from a buck 60 to about 360. She gapped up pretty big right here. She's starting to build a little bit of a Fausto flag. Phenomenal iceberg orders already in pre-market. You know, you could tell just by the half a million shares already traded. But if she holds here pretty strong, it could get a nice little bounce right here. So we'll see how she opens up. But as of right now, uh, we need to see what, what happens when the market opens up. SLS, another one. The stock got killed. Stock was a $12 stock. Went all the way down to $1.50. She's gapping up pretty decent. That one also up 20%. Million shares traded. Look at all these orders. 10,000 shares. 15,000 shares. Remember what I taught you in class. By the way, phase two, lesson three and four is today, guys. These are things we're going to be talking about and getting prepared with when you trade side by side with me next week in phase three, you know, putting it all to test. But you got to focus on those that level three. I look at those iceberg orders. That's what makes support and resistance levels. So SLS is going to be a really good one. MTSL. Another one made the watch list right here. Stock, uh, you know, that one, that one, actually I talked about that. The T, the TLRY I found this morning. This stock, a nice little push, nice little move from yesterday. Uh, once again, IPO. For some reason, I feel like every IPO is opening up at $20 and they're all doing pretty decent. If you're not a level three trader, cyber trader, do not trade IPOs. These things will shake you, bake you, thing will run circles around you. But um, but for some of my uh, uh, th uh, level three cyber traders and up, this might be a one up uh, one we could keep an eye on. It CLF, you guys remember that CLF? We had a lot of fun with the stock. It's breaking. Uh, stock is breaking. Also a yearly high. Nice little push right there. Great, great orders everywhere. 800,000 shares. It's not up a lot. It's only up 7%, which I'm pretty impressed. But that one had its 8 o'clock move, 8.30 move. Stock's got a nice little push. CLF is obviously going to be the big one. The other one you guys have been watching this morning, um, and it's, you know, obviously it's a brand name stock. Everybody talks about PBR. Uh, PBR, the stock um, took a big hit, making a little bit of a nice little comeback right here. It's up a little bit. Remember, PBR is also a little bit of a brand name stock. Look at all those orders out there uh, on the matrix. Big, big, big orders everywhere. So let's keep be careful with that PBR trade. It is a little bit of a brand name. Skechers, we already know about. Let's get back to it. Look at that. Boom. Since we started the meeting, we already, if you, if you jumped in when we talked about it, uh, you know, right at the gate, 
you, you should be already up, you know, almost 10 cents. So, you know what? 10 cents doesn't sound like a lot to people, but you know what? Where could you make $100 in, in 10 minutes? Right here at the Cyber Trading Room, right? So Skechers is on there. We got BB and we got the MTSL. So we took care of those. Yeah, we got those on there. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stocks, which is it's just pretty – it's a lot for a uh, for a Friday. All right. Anything I'm missing I did not call out, guys? Uh any, anything else? Okay, Michael says, uh, could Fausto, could you check out the STF trade? No data. You spelled it, did I spell it wrong? Uh, no, Ken, I'm not looking at that stock. Please, don't even bring it up. <laughs> not even going there. All right, STAF. Now, STAF... Stock, we, we traded it a while ago. Stock from buck fifty to five dollars. She's up about seven percent. You know, I sort I sort this morning. I wasn't a big fan of it. I might consider it. The, the, you got to be careful with the spread on this one. It's got a little bit of a big spread. It is testing yesterday's resistance levels. Maybe second protocol, Grant. All right, maybe second protocol. Anything else? You guys want to look at? I'm just seeing if there's anything else on my scanner that I'm seeing. This Amazon's like an animal. By the way, the uh, the swing trades that we got going on right now, GoDaddy's doing pretty good. Uh, GDDY. Stock just gapped up, doing great. I don't know if anyone still has a swing trade on GoDaddy. That one's doing pretty good. We're doing pretty well on that one. A little disappointed on the BJs. It's kind of holding flat right here. It's like a little bit everywhere, but you know I'm still holding on that swing trade also. All right. So what do we got? We got uh, we got a decent list. All right. So guys, listen. A lot of things going on today. So today is Friday. A uh, lot of events going on. We got a lot of new members joining us. Some of you. Your, your subscriptions are going to expire. Hopefully, you guys realize your trading's for you or not. Remember, if it's not for you, that's okay. It doesn't cost you a lot of money to come in here and try it out and see what it is. But hopefully, a lot of you realize it's not as complicated as people make it to be. Some things might look a little fast, but listen, you know, anyone could do it. It's just got, it's all about the coaching. It's all about the mentoring. It's all about the team. Now, Today you got class, you got you got phase you got phase two lesson two, three and four, and then I'm gonna be doing a presentation at four thirty this evening, uh, New York time by the way, on uh, Well 360. Hopefully everyone got the email. Hopefully get you guys to be there and help support CTU. Hopefully we can rec recruit more traders, and then we'll kind of see if it's for them or not. But uh, I've got a lot going on today. Yes, Amy, the BJ's I have it as a swing from the IPO price. All right. That's right, Grant. Let's go out there and uh, go fishing right after we make our day's pay. Maybe even go to Serendipity and buy yourself a hundred dollar milkshake like I did the other day. Pretty cool. That's that's the beauty about when you do when, you know when you do well. All right, go out and enjoy. You only live once. All right, guys. Listen. Good luck. Happy trading. See you back. Uh, see you back in the afternoon meeting and enjoy class today. Let's make some money.